This is the new and improved way to name lists on our calculator. The method we used before was the one suggested by the book, which said first create a list. So I'm going to click Stat, Edit, which is 1, and let's say I filled in a bunch of numbers under this column L1, although you could have done it under L2 or L3, it doesn't really matter. But we put a bunch of numbers in there. And the book said, well, go back to the home screen, then actually click second and L1 here, and then click store, which puts that arrow there, and then put a name in. So I'm going to do alpha, I'm going to do B, oh, Bo. That's going to be my list name. Then I'm going to hit enter, and I have a list called Bo. Only thing is, if I click stat 1 again, it's not Bo, it's still L1. So all I've really done in this case is I've said, let's create another name for L1 called Bo, but L1 is still a list. So we don't want to do that. So instead of that, doing that, let me show you. If we want to make a new list, then we're going to click on Stat, Edit, 1. And we're going to go all the way over to the last list. So I'm actually going to click Up 1 to go to L1 here, and then I'm going to click over, L2, 3, 4, 5, there's 6 L's, and then if I filled all those out, I go to this next one, and it's blank here, there's nothing there. So I hit enter, and then down here it says name, and I can type in a new name. So let's do K, O, F, I, Kofi, and then I hit enter, and now that list is called Kofi up there. And then I can enter in some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, whatever. And then can hit enter. And there are the numbers under Kofi. Now if I go to second stat, to the list and check names, I can go down and let's see what I have here. Um, there's Bo, there's Kofi, uh, some other names I've made up. So there's a bunch of names there, but Kofi is actually one of the lists, and you see it still stays up there. So from now on, that's how I want us to name lists. If I don't want this list anymore, then I'm going to click up to the top, and I'm going to hit Clear, and then Enter and now Kofi has been cleared away. Now if I don't want this list Kofi anymore, I can move my cursor up so the title's highlighted and then hit delete. Once you do that, that list is gone and you can never get it back anymore. So if you just want to clear something, hit clear, that'll get rid of all the values, but if you hit delete, that'll get rid of the entire uh, column. If you happen to delete one of these L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if instead of clearing it, so I could just hit clear for L6 and then enter, and L6 is cleared, but it's still there. But if instead I go up here and I hit delete, I'm not going to do that, but if I hit delete, that column will be gone and then there'll be no more L6 anymore. There is a way to get it back, but that requires resetting the entire memory of the calculator. So if you can help it, try not to delete the L1 through 6s uh, since they're handy because um, you have the L1 through 6 keys down here. It doesn't really matter, but, uh, but try not to delete those, just clear those. And then if again, if you want to do a new one, just go all the way to the end and, uh, and then just, uh, just hit enter and type in what the name of it is here. So that's the new way we're going to name our lists.